This is a recharge port, most commonly known as a power jack. These come in many varieties, different sizes, different shapes. 2.1 millimeter is the most common size and the most commonly used size in lightsabers. 1.3 millimeter jacks see a decent amount of use as well. No matter the size, the type most often seen in sabers is the switching power jack. I'll be linking to both of those sizes in the description below, but because their function is the same, I'll be using the 2.1 for demonstrational purposes in today's video. Looking at our switchable power jack or recharge port, there are three terminals. For the context of this video, I'll be describing them by the components that they are typically connected to in a Sabre install. First, we have the battery negative terminal. This terminal is the battery and board positive. If your install does not include a soundboard, then the connection would be made to your LED or LEDs in place of the board. And then we have the board negative terminal. As you may already know, one of the two main uses of this port is cutting power. In other words, utilizing the off or open position of its switch. The two practical uses of the switch, most common to Sabre installs, are cutting power to the board to prevent drain of the battery, and then cutting power to the board while charging as well. In order to perform the first function, we would insert what is referred to as a kill key or kill plug. That is just a non-conductive tube that fits properly into the port. I'll link my video on how to make them down in the description, but they may also be purchased from most places that sell a variety of Sabre components. The second use of the switch is just as straightforward but this time there is conductive material involved when inserting the charger. And that's because when charging, you not only want to isolate your board from power, but simultaneously, you want to transfer power to the battery. That all sounds really great, but how does it happen? What does it look like? Let's peel back the cover and find out. With a better view of the internal contacts, we can get a proper understanding of what's happening. The switch in this jack is very simple. It is comprised of one contact, the battery negative, acting as a spring that, when at rest, or in the switch's closed position, touches the board negative contact. If we reintroduce the kill key, now the switch is open. The two contacts are no longer touching. Let's add power to the mix to illustrate the idea a bit further. The yellow dashes you can see are all the places where power is present. With the switch in the open position, there is no power flowing from power negative to board negative. But with the kill key removed, your board, or LEDs, now have power because the circuit is closed. Now let's take a closer look at the charger. On the exterior, the black portions are non-conductive. They don't transfer power. The silver portion of the barrel is the conductive negative terminal. If we take an x-rayed look at the barrel of the plug, we see the non-conductive material separates the exterior's negative terminal from the positive one on the interior. Here's what it would look like if you cut a section from the center of the plug. So now we understand where power exists in both the port and the plug. Let's connect the two in order to charge the battery. Once again, the switch has been opened so that the board is excluded from power transfer, and power is now flowing from the source on the block end of the charger, through the terminals on the plug, through the contacts inside the power jack, and then out through the terminals to their corresponding components. I'll leave you with a quick tip about using your multimeter. If you need to check functionality on a switch or other relevant component, use continuity mode. Alternatively, you can also check with resistance. I hope this video has been helpful for you. And if you want to see other content related to Sabre components and installing, feel free to subscribe or browse my channel. Leave me comments or questions if you have them. You can also find a lot of really great people to answer your questions or coach you through your own build over at the Sabre Builders Academy. You can find that link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.